Weren't you once, did, I, I keep thinking about this too, didn't you once play in a, either a documentary or a semi-documentary about T.E. Lawrence? I did. I played a, s a small TV film called Lawrence After, after, La Lawrence after Arabia. Arabia yeah. It was all set at the Paris Peace Conference. But it was, it was funny having done films like this and films like English Patient where I'd been in the real, the real place. Yeah. We had, we couldn't, it, was, it was set in Paris, but there was a so, tiny scene in the film where Lawrence goes into a cinema to watch movie foot, old black and white movie news yeah. footage of himself. Oh, man, yeah. And we had to recreate Lawrence in the desert. And we had to go to some big, vast sand quarry outside London. Yeah. And with some circus cannons. <laughs> <laughs> and we did it, but it was... Can you, the, the difference, especially after the David Lean film, is funny. Yeah. How long did Lawrence live after he came back from Arabia? He died in 1936 in a motorcycle accident. Yeah. On his way to Oxford or something, wasn't it? Or no, he was... Um, it's interesting. He had gone to post a telegram to a British writer called Henry Williamson, who was a famous writer of, sort of nature books. Uh, you know, with animals as, as heroes. Anyway, they had this friendship, and Lawrence went up. Because when I was very, very young, by, by accident, I, when I was very young, like eight or nine, my parents briefly knew Henry Williamson. Yeah. And uh, I never asked him about Lawrence, but my mother once said, last night Henry was talking about Lawrence and how angry he was about the David Lean film, because there was nothing like Lawrence was like. It's because they made Lawrence into more what? Yeah, why didn't they? More, more flamboyant, heroic, more flamboyant. More, yeah. and, and, but it, it, was, it always interested me because I have that personal memory of this old man, Henry Williamson, being a fun sort of grandfather figure. Then later on, I, I developed my own fascination with Lawrence, independent of before I made the film about him. Yeah. And I made the film. But, um, but it, what really, it, Henry Williamson wrote a book called The Genius of Friendship, where it's a sort of adoration of Lawrence. But in it, Henry, who had very right wing extreme. He, he was a sym sympathetic. Before the Second World War, he was sympathetic to, to Hitler's regime. Yeah. Um, and which people, he's, a, he's a great writer, but that's an area where people yeah. don't want to talk about. But he, company with yeah, but, but he wrote a... He wrote a the a, Genius of Friendship. The Genius of Friendship. At the yeah. end of the book, he, he suggests, he imagines a fantasy of Lawrence leading, he says, a meeting of servicemen, of ex-servicemen in the in the Royal Albert Hall to address the problems of the nation, which has a rather unpleasant, you know, yeah. Yeah. connotation to it. And I, I, I think he'd written to Lawrence to say, come and meet to talk about this. And Lawrence, I don't, I don't know, one doesn't know what Lawrence thought about it, but he was killed on the way back from sending the telegram yeah. to Henry. Isn't that how the movie opens, Lawrence of Arabia? Yeah. I think yeah. it is. Yeah. And, and, and Sorry, you see the on, on a big other tangent yeah. there. Well, no, no, but you know what's fascinating about this is as soon as that movie came out, I, I met David, David Lane and interviewed him, and, and I'm, I couldn't read, I read everything there was to be read about. Lawrence, yeah. you know, Seven yeah. Pillars of yeah. Wisdom and everything, yeah, yeah. and wrote about it, and it was just, it was fascinating. But well, if you ever get the chance, go the to the Jesus. little house in Dorset, if you ever have some time, yeah. about two hours out of London, where he lived, it's a tiny, tiny house. Yeah.